that? Best day we've seen in 10 years, and you scored it right on the nut, man. Surfing the Great Lakes. It's gotten pretty popular. Big waves, guys with frickin' ice beards, couple tubes, more ice beards, some onshore winds, but I think what sticks out to me the most are the harsh conditions and what these local surfers are willing to put themselves through to catch a few waves. <laughs> it works! And the wave quality, it's usually not very good. But sometimes, it is. I found out about surfing on the Great Lakes the same way I find out about most things. Watching videos on YouTube. Looking for my next novelty wave excursion. I came across Surfer Magazine's rendition of a trip to the Great Lakes. I saw Alex Gray getting barreled. And I immediately thought to myself, what the f is going on on the Great Lakes? These were some heavy locals. Some would say the heaviest. A quick search on Instagram, and I came across this man, this myth, this legend. A dude that I would later nickname Kelly Slaker for obvious reasons. 100 miles from the Canadian border, and there's Pork Bay, we got other bays, we got Creek Mouse, we, it's gonna fucking freaking fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Getting dude! Update. Yeah. What's the update, Bert? Update, it's a little choppy here. We're gonna go north and we're gonna score River Mouth. There's a few other little secret spots, man, that's gonna go rick dirt, dude. We're gonna come back here, score tonight. It's gonna be freaking stony, friggin' on. It's gonna be friggin' awesome, dude. <laughs> you! <laughs> Yeah, dude, this is what we f Look at this really? sh dude. Yeah. We'll go surf the standout spots north. It's head high, dude. I swear to God, that's head high. It looks bigger than it looks, man. Once I got over the initial shock that Burton Hathaway actually exists, and the surprise of how easy it was to get in touch with him, a few DMs later, and we were on a plane, headed on our very first Great Lakes surf trip to Wisconsin. Driving into the eye of the hailstorm right now. Quite the experience, woolly mammoth snowstorm. Dividing line at the river out here. Coldest surf session in the history. My first experience with the Great Lakes was intense. A few rental car mishaps, a few blizzards, and we actually ended up scoring some really fun surf. We didn't get the ways that we went for, but it was an intriguing quest nonetheless. 
In a weird way, I was kind of hooked. We were surfing in fresh water on a lake and the waves were sizable. None of this should be happening. Not long after that, I received a message on Instagram from a dude named Stevie. He asked if I ever considered surfing Lake Erie. My first reaction was, Lake Erie? Isn't that in Pennsylvania? A quick Google search later, and I couldn't believe my eyes. People surfing in PA. I moved to New Jersey when I was a kid, just so that I could surf. And all along, there was waves breaking in my own backyard. It didn't take long before a swell popped up, and I was on my way for my first ever Pennsylvania surf trip. This is where I got hooked. Completely and totally obsessed with lake surfing. Within one week, I went from not even knowing this part of the world existed to surfing absolutely firing waves in the state that I was born. Pennsylvania was a massive surprise and a part of my soul that I just didn't know was missing. And a similar thing happened to me when I discovered surfing in Indiana. Next to my friends Clay and Sean, I scored some of the best shaped and cleanest lake waves I've ever seen. Indiana was fully nuking. Yeah. 
today and, and found the dream. Um, full performance wave. I didn't feel my board bogging at all. Uh, I could get multiple maneuvers done and uh, plenty of speed out there. So kind of tripping on it, but and it's still coming through. This story ends where I thought it was going to begin. But as you can imagine, scoring a once in a lifetime swell on Lake Superior isn't as easy as I thought it'd be. But seven years, four lakes, and 20 plus Great Lakes surf trips later, I finally had a shot to realize that dream of scoring absolutely pumping surf on a lake. I was actually on a surf trip to Nebraska when this all came together. Yes, I set a surf trip to Nebraska. Also, a once in a lifetime discovery. And in my opinion, probably my most underrated work ever. But that's a story for a different time. After scoring waves in Nebraska, we were all set to fly home when I received a Facebook message from Eric Wilkie inviting me out for something he called Pretty Promising. Eric is a classic guy. Most of our conversations end with, but you never know, it is a lake. But this one looked pretty darn good. So we redirected our planes and we were on our way back to where it all began, on the shores of Minnesota. Once we landed in Great Lakes country, it was all deja vu. Once again, I was stuck in a blizzard, driving way under the speed limit and just hoping we didn't run out of daylight and we'd make it to our destination before dark in time to catch a couple waves. At this point, the historic nature of the swell speaks for itself. Yo, what's the claim? Big, it is big. Oh my God. There, there's, some, there's some 10 footers out Holy there. Holy sh the wave I just saw. Surf with you at North Park. Point. Uh, think I could, maybe Let's I'll just again. park right over there. Park by yeah. Park. We made it to the lake, and it was otherworlding. The wind is offshore. We made it to the beach. I'm just getting in my wetsuit. I couldn't even make a heavier claim than I'm making right now. This is the biggest lake surf I've ever seen. This is it. Let's do it. I got a spring suit on over my five mil. I never thought the day would come, but it just came for the dream. Absolutely scoring, fully nuking, completely going off in Minnesota.
Minnesota. How did you do me so good? It was overhead out there. I'm calling that well overhead. That's my claim. Well, I guess that's my story. I scored a once in a lifetime swell in Minnesota. The best wave in all of the Great Lakes, the pipeline of the Great Lakes is Stony Point. And we're so honored to have hosted you today, man. Great, thank you. I'm lucky enough to have actually lived out a few of my dreams. This was one of them. So thanks to everyone who supports what I do because there's more dreams to be conquered just on the horizon. And I'm not giving up anytime soon. Best day we've seen in 10 years and you scored it right on the nut, man. You did great. <laughs> Right on the nut. That's the claim. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Party on, Ben. Yeah, see you guys. Oh, hey, Will and Bert said hello too. They oh, had hell yeah. They had a hell of a good time with you. Let us know what kind of ways you want to see us surf in the comment section below and consider subscribing to support the channel. For the dream. <laughs> for real. It's like the pipeline, pipeline of Lake yeah, Superior, bro. Waves of con real. consequence. Thank you guys. Be safe. Right, Talk to you guys soon. Thanks, boss. Thank you, yeah.